everybody. Hi there. So this video is about Manistee, Michigan. And we loved Michigan. It was a pretty awesome place to go. Um, we had like three stops in Michigan. So this is the second one that you'll see. Um, but we did some really awesome stuff in Manistee. It was a neat town. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a pretty cool town. Uh, we took some tours of some very big ships there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that that was a bit of fascinating. I mean, the one was uh, a box car container ship, but I mean, real box cars, like for trains, fit inside of it. So, wow, that kind of amazed me. And a uh, Coast Guard vessel, and just basically had a nice time in general, of course. You couldn't keep them out of Lake Michigan, which is fine. Yeah, so we got to go to the beach every day that we were there, and that was totally awesome. Yes, and a shout out to the three ladies who befriended us when we were at that little spot on the beach. There was three ladies from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and they gave us more information, uh, great tips and suggestions, everything from where to eat, where to go, where not to go. Uh, night sky viewing. They were just a wealth of information. They must have spent 25, 30 minutes standing there yeah, talking to were, us. They were and, with us for a long and time. And throwing a stick for general yeah. into the lake. <laughs> you know, it was amazing. So, thank you ladies. If you happen to trip across our stuff, we haven't forgot about you. That was a wonderful experience and so nice to meet all these wonderful people that we do in our travels. Yes, it is. So, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. And um, see you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Ed. And this is General, our totally awesome water dog. We used to live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, but one day we found both of ourselves unemployed. So we decided to take a chance. We sold everything, bought a trailer, and left to explore America. We're learning as we go along, but we still make mistakes. But we get a lot of things right too. So come join us as we learn to RV full time, explore America, and share in our exciting journey of discovery. Our, our next, next adventure, adventure is just over the hill. hill. On our way to Manistee, we stopped at a big boy restaurant for lunch. Um, this is one of those uh, restaurants that we used to see a long time ago when we lived in northwestern Pennsylvania and hadn't seen any down south. So this was kind of nice to go to one of these when we hadn't been in a long time. Um, the burgers were actually really good. Um, kind of reminded me of a Big Mac from McDonald's. That's the kind of flavor it had to it, but pretty awesome. Oh, not quite set up yet, but check out the spot. It's a pull through. So I just pulled straight through, set up the trailer where we want it. Got two nice shade trees. I don't even know if we need to put the awning out. Full hookups. I'll show you the other side. It's a mess. Now it took every bit of hose that <laughs> we've got, but I got everything hooked up, electrics, everything. It had to go into the 50 amp service because the 30 amp breakers are weak. But we had everything we need and now we're setting up and gonna enjoy. It's like 68 degrees. So we're in Manistee, Michigan and we wanted to see the water and the beach because it's been three months since we left home. Um, so we came to the first street beach access and I'm gonna show you some pictures of that here. And unfortunately, pets are not welcome on any of this property, although they do have a dog park that's um, on the other side of this property. So we did take General over there for a couple minutes. Um, but this is the beach here at First Street. Pretty cool but we're gonna go look for another beach that we think might have um, more lenient pet policy. We're hoping to get our feet wet with our dog. Found a place on Lake Michigan to take general. Not much of a beach, it's a little tiny thing, but it'll work. That's it, buddy.
So we met these three ladies at the beach. Um, they started talking to us about General. The one lady was just enamored with General, loved him to death. Um, but she picked up a stick and threw it in the water and General immediately went after it. You know, I had just been standing there telling him, go ahead and go swimming, go ahead and go swimming. But I guess he needed a reason to get in the water. Um, so she, she showed us that reason and uh, we had a lot of fun with him after that, and he did actually do quite a bit of swimming. Hey everybody, well, I, I got a bug spray review for you. Oh boy! Um, so we're in Michigan, and the bugs are just eating me up, and I'm kind of an outside guy. Sandy, bless her heart, uh, when she ran to Walmart, got some stuff. So what we've got here is a product made by Off, uh, the Johnson Family Company, and it's called botanicals and it's uh, basically uh, it's deep free it's an all-natural type thing although they really don't tell you everything that's in it 90% of it is other ingredients whatever that is this one is the one that Sandy liked the best uh, based on its ingredients it's very straightforward it tells you everything about it it's a natural insect repellent um, and that essentially says it. it's got a lot of plant oils and things in it that those bugs don't like this one, and both of these are deep free. This one is made by Johnson, a family company. It's off, but it is uh, called Family Care. It's smooth and dry, and it uh, it does have uh, some deed in it, fifteen percent. Um, I tried this one first. You know, it works. I can't smell it. Love that. Um, but what I found is you have to keep applying it all the time. So the upside of to this one is I know there's no deed in it. It's easy to carry uh, and you have to apply it often but it doesn't stink that bad. So I think that's my preferred one. This one I like it because it's all natural uh, but I mean this thing you'll smell like you just crawl out of a tent in the backwoods of Michigan someplace. I, I wouldn't want to smell like that going into public you know at a restaurant or something. This one worked the best. Well, of course, it's got 15% deed in it. But we had lunch at the Bluefish restaurant in Manistee and an awesome meal. Um, the place was very fancy. We kind of felt a little bit uncomfortable going in there in just our t-shirts and, and shorts, um, but they didn't have a problem seating us and the, the meal was awesome. And I tell you what, they had a fish dip a hot fish dip that rivaled any crab dip, hot crab dip that we ever had back home. So that was really awesome. Manistee also has a really cool river walk. Um, it's a sidewalk down by the river and you can walk uh, up and down it and it goes behind the shops and the restaurants and everything. And most of the shops and restaurants have sitting areas out on the back area uh, right next to the river. So that was pretty cool. And Manistee itself, uh, they had a lot of historical buildings. It was really nice to to walk around and look at the historical buildings. They, they really have a nice, clean town. It's a really awesome place. Manistee is home to these two really cool boats. Um, the first is the SS City of Milwaukee, and they call this a car ferry, but it's not really a car ferry that you would think of that hauls cars. This actually holds railroad cars, and it's capable of holding up to 34 railroad cars. Um, this was used in the Great Lakes, um, was built in 1930 and served on the Great Lakes until about 1978. So just running back and forth across the Great Lakes. So this, this boat is available for a guided tour um, that takes about an hour. Um, and it was kind of warm just in the spot that we saw on the inside. So we decided not to do the guided tour. But just what we saw of it was pretty awesome. And this boat is also known to be haunted. Uh, so they do have this open as kind of like a hotel. You can stay overnight on the boat uh, and kind of play around with the ghosts. So that would be kind of cool. 
Okay, today we are touring the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Acacia, A-C-A-C-I-A. -A. This has been retired, um, but we are going to do a self-guided tour. Wow. It was built in wartime. It did go out to the Atlantic for a little bit at the end of the war. Then it came back to the Great Lakes and did buoys for the rest of its career. With several uh, law enforcement missions down to Haiti every decade or so, they'd send it down and chase pirates and drug runners. So this is the galley area. It is bigger than I thought it would be, yeah. Here's the kitchen right next to the galley area. Of course, <laughs> duh. Got all kinds of little gadgets, waffle maker, griddles, stove griddle, see the mixer over there. This said CPO mess on the door. It's a little lounge. This looks like um, somebody's bedroom. Um, I think he said that the officers' rooms were on this level, so this would be an officer's room. There's a dresser. Here's another little lounge with some books, magazines. A little meeting room. There's another bedroom. Toilet and shower. That shower's bigger than the one that we have in our camper. <laughs> There's some kind of mechanical equipment. I don't quite understand. Oh, steering motor, okay. Read the signs, Sandy. This one said Chief Petty Officers. So you got two bunks over there. Lockers, private bath, and two bunks over here. Here's the dispensary. All their medical equipment. This is captain's quarters. So we're on the same level as the captain's quarters. Um, and this is the deck level. There's a lifeboat here. Some blow up life rafts. A couple of them over here, a couple of them on the other side. Crew shelter, access to crew shelter. Guess if they can't get downstairs. So this is the upper deck. Not much to see up here, except for the view. And this is the way upper deck where all the stuff happens at. See the gyro compass? Engine and bow thruster controls. With a windshield. And here is the cockpit. This 
is the chart room. Not overly exciting, but I'll bet extremely important. A very kind gentleman that is stationed on this boat for the tours said that they used to mount um, machine guns. <laughs> They used to mount machine guns to these uh, posts, and there's a couple up front for when they went down to Haiti to chase the pirates. Are we underwater? I think we are. <laughs> Did you see this hatch right here? There's a hatch underneath the stairs. <laughs> it says access to reefer flats. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so this is the cruise quarters. Look at the difference. They just pack them right in here. Bunks, lockers, more bunks. More bunks. We thought this was pretty cool. We are used to seeing people selling firewood and eggs and stuff like that from their front yards and most of it in the honor system up north, which is awesome. Um, but this was really original. This person sells bouquets of flowers out of this little truck in the front yard. And when we went to town, there were still, I think like two bouquets left in the truck. Uh, but on our way back to the trailer, those bouquets were gone. So very original idea.